In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and debug Raspberry Pi using Crossworks for ARM via JTAG. You will need the following hardware, a Raspberry Pi A+, B+, or Pi 2. Earlier revisions of the Pi do not expose all GPIO required for JTAG debugging. I am also using our own CrossConnect Classic and a set of seven female-to-female -female jumper wires as the hardware debugger interface. A micro SD card. A one or two gigabyte card should be large enough for the purposes of this tutorial. You will also need a micro SD card reader attached to your host machine. Of course, you'll also need a host machine, which can be based on Windows, Mac or Linux, with Crossworks version three or later installed. The easiest way to get started is to install a standard operating system on the Raspberry Pi. Instructions on doing this can be found by following this link to the Raspberry Pi Foundation pages. I have opted to use the lightweight Raspbian Lite to save on download time and file space. Once you've completed the installation of your chosen operating system, we need to make some tweaks to the files on the SD card. Remove the micro SD card from your Raspberry Pi and insert it into the card reader. Open the SD card folder and you'll see a number of files relating to the Raspberry Pi operating system. The files that we are interested in are the kernel.img and kernel7.img files. At this point, I would recommend making a backup of both of these .img files and saving them safely for the time being. OK, leaving the SD card folder open, let's now open Crossworks for ARM. Download the Raspberry Pi or Pi 2 support package, dependent on which Raspberry Pi you have. Click Finish. Click Tools. Then, Show Installed Packages. Find the Raspberry Pi package you just downloaded and click its link. The next page lists documentation and software examples that form part of this board support package. Go to Solution Files and click the link. Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi 2 Hardware Samples. An example hardware solution is now loaded into Cross Studio. We now need to generate a new kernel.img or kernel7.img file for the Raspberry Pi. Look for this node. Make it the default project by double clicking it. Open the Studio folder to view the generated files for the project. You should find the kernel.img or kernel7.img files, dependent on which version of the board support package you are using. Copy the newly generated kernel.img file onto the SD card. Finally, we need to enable JTAG by the Raspberry Pi GPIO headers. This is done by opening the config.txt and adding the line enable underscore JTAG underscore GPIO equals one. That's it. We now have an application loaded onto the Raspberry Pi SD card and the configuration set to enable JTAG debugging. This is how the cross connect can be wired up to the JTAG headers. Once connected, debug is normal using Crossworks. Let's see how the LED blinky example looks.
Let's now pause the execution of the program and add a breakpoint. I can now step through the program code line by line. In fact, I can also step through the code at the disassembly level by clicking anywhere in the disassembly window. That's all for now, but if you would like more information about Crossworks for ARM or any of our other products, please visit the links below. Thanks for watching.